So bring your vibe over here, here, here And throw it up in the air, air, air uh, I run my hands through your hair, hair, hair And give you that love cause you're all oh so rare You look better over here than you do over there what up YouTube? I am currently in the city of Boston and I have two goals for today. Goal number one is to make a couple cool photos, potentially taking advantage of the last couple days of fall. I noticed on the way in that there's still a bunch of fall leaves actually down here in the city. And goal number two is to make a little bit of a YouTube video, potentially like a photography behind the scenes type YouTube video. And that's pretty much it. Let's get to it. This weather is just horrible. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that the majority of my photography is all landscape and nature type stuff, so I'm a little bit out of my element here, but we're figuring it out. Hey, I'm just a kid, I don't need money. Little lost, but one day they'll talk on me. I'll have the world, hope you're waiting when I'm through with it. Oh, I'm coming home to ya. We're just kids, don't it feel lovely? We sip rum and write songs till we feel funny. Outside till sunrise, we ain't finished. Oh, coming home to ya. Alright, I just got back to my apartment and I edited together all the footage you just saw and I also edited together some of the photos that I took today down in the city. So we left the apartment this morning with two goals. The first of those goals was to get a couple of cool photos of the city and the second goal was to make some sort of YouTube video. Let's talk about the photos first. So as you saw from some of the footage earlier, I was hanging out around by the old state house down in Boston, which is, I believe it's the oldest building in Boston. It's, it's definitely one of the oldest in the United States, but I was really trying to focus in on getting a photo or photos of the old state house because it's kind of like an iconic Boston building. So when I got to the old state house, my natural instinct was to throw in my wide angle lens, get up real close to the building, and you know, do some close up architecture shots. But I quickly realized that because there were about a million people there, it was almost impossible to get any sort of cool shot up close to the building. So what I did was I took my big 50 to 140 millimeter zoom lens, put it on my camera, and I went way down the road and I was able to actually zoom way in on the building and get a couple cool shots. When I was way down the road, I actually realized that there was people crossing back and forth in front of the building. And so I started trying to frame someone up like perfectly in the center of the building, aiming all the way down the street. And I ended up being pretty successful at taking both of those photos, one with a person in the shot and then one just of the building. And you'll see them both right here. So you should be able to tell both by how I framed up the shot, but also how I edited the photos, that I was really just trying to emphasize the old state house in the frame. You can see that when I was taking the photos, actually, there was this really warm sunlight coming through and reflecting off the buildings in the background that was allowing me to really emphasize the presence of the old state house in the center of the photo. And I also, during the edit, edit process, was able to decrease the saturation on all of the blues and all the different objects in the frame to really, really emphasize the old state house in the center of the picture. So as I mentioned before, I left the house this morning with two goals. The second one was to make some sort of YouTube video. And I think that so far I've been pretty successful at doing that. That first like two minute cinematic sequence video that I made was actually really fun to make. I intended to have way more talking scenes in there, like explaining exactly how I was taking the photo, how I was framing it up and everything. But being in the city with people just walking all over the place and just trying to stay out of people's way for the most part, it was really difficult to do that. It'll probably be easier to do that next time I make, I make one of these videos if it's like somewhere in the woods or on a mountain or something like that. So I wanna start making more photography related videos, whether that be camera tutorials, composition tips, editing tips, whatever. I think that there's a lot of stuff that I've learned over the past four or five years of doing this 
that would really benefit other photographers who might just be starting and doing this. There's a ton of stuff that took me years to learn that I think that I could easily teach to people in just quick videos that would really help them with their photography moving forward. But not only that, in addition to that, there's a ton of crazy stuff going on in my life right now. I'm moving all over the place for work, I'm traveling a lot, and frankly I just want to record it and make videos about it because that's one of the things that I've, I've found that I'm really passionate about. So if you thought that this video was fun to watch or useful or whatever, please give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to the channel if you want to see what I have coming in the future and let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you want to learn about or you want to see and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you. So bring your vibe over here, here, here. And throw it up in the air, air, air. Uh, I run my hands through your hair.